Hey, how's it going guys? Zedai here. So I wanted to share my first impressions on PAL World on PlayStation 5. Now, I did not play the game before, right? I know that this game came out, I believe, like early in the year for Xbox and of course PC. But I have heard a lot of things, I have seen a lot of concept and gameplay of it. And I was really much excited to try it out for myself. Just the idea of grabbing these Pokemon basically and just making them work for you. It's kind of actually now that I think about it, it's very brutal <laughs> But I just had like a good time with this game and I wanted to share my the good parts And unfortunately there were some bad parts within this game that I've had Now let's get into the good from the moment I started playing PAL World on PlayStation 5, I could not help but notice how much it feels inspired by some of the Nintendo's biggest franchises. Of course, like Pokemon, like mentioned, and the recent Zelda games. But what makes PAL World stand out is how it takes these familiar elements and blends them into a refreshing survival game. The visuals are bright and charming, the PALs are memorable, and there's a lot of fun to be had just exploring the massive world. The survival mechanics combined with the catching and battling pals give the game a unique twist that I found pretty addictive. You're not just training creatures, you're also building bases, crafting gears, and managing resources, which adds a deeper layer to the gameplay. Even though the game isn't early access, it already feels packed with content, at least on the PlayStation 5 version. The survival crafting elements are solid without being overwhelming, and a growth curve in the game is quick and rewarding, making progress feel satisfying without too, too much grind. Multiplayer is another thing I'm actually excited to try it out. I can see PAL World being a blast to play with friends, especially when you're teaming up to tackle tough enemies or build up your bases together. I'm really looking forward to trying out in co-op and seeing how those group dynamics work. There's something undeniably fun about the absurd scenarios the game throws at you, like riding on the back of the flying dragon while shooting a blue duck with an assault rifle. The moments like these that make Power World such a fun and unique experience even if it's not perfect. One thing that really hooked me was the sheer size of the world and how much there is to explore. Every time I think I've seen it all, I stumble upon new areas and more pals to discover and to collect. The design of the pals are quirky and yet memorable, and the variety keeps things quite interesting. For an indie title, the amount of gameplay it offers is quite impressive, and I can see why people get invested after hours of playing. It's kind of a game that kind of hooks you, and once you start, it's quite hard to put down. Now, even though, like mentioned, there are some good elements within this game, unfortunately, there are some flaws. Now, some of them are not really that big of a deal, but yet there are some, well, a little bit more concerning. Now, even though I have been having fun with PAL World, I do have few gripes. For us, it's clear that the game takes a lot of inspiration from Pokemon, and sometimes it feels like it borrows a bit too, too much without adding enough originality. It's difficult to make something truly fresh in 2024, but I've played other games like Temtem that found a way to stand out in the creature collecting genre. Pal World, as great as it can be, sometimes feels like it missed the opportunity to push things further and be more unique. The core game loop, catching pals, gathering resources, and managing your base, can feel a bit overwhelming and perhaps even a lengthy experience. It's fun, but it's easy to see how some players might get burned out of it and just when they're not into that sort of a grind. The task management with your pals at the base, for instance, is a bit clunky and could use some refinement. I found myself wishing for more variety in the open world, like unique events or encounters to break up the routine and of exploration and base building. There are also some performance issues, quite a lot in fact, especially when there's a lot of pals are working and at the base and doing all that simultaneously, it's just the FPS tanks. And there's a lot of pop-up included. Pals clipping through the world, glitches in the combat and building mechanics that feel underdeveloped are noticeable. And while they don't ruin the experience, they can be quite frustrating. The AI for the pals could definitely be improved. Sometimes they just don't respond as quickly or as intelligently as I liked during the combat. 
and that can make some battles feel a lot more chaotic than they should. And especially when pals just don't do their part of the work that they're supposed to. And it constantly brings up the notification that the pal can't get into this vicinity of this to do the work. Whatever the reason, even though nothing is actually obstructing it. The game, as I say, still is in early access. Unbelievable. Though, so I'm hopeful that these issues will be ironed out by the time when the game does fully launch. Another weak point for me is the building system. It's a major part of the game, but it feels kind of undercooked compared to the other survival games. The process can be tedious, and I often found myself wishing it was a bit more intuitive. Uh, this is an area where PAL world could really improve, especially since base building is so central to the gameplay loop. Now again, it's not really a deal breaker for me in this department regarding the base building. Despite all of its flaws, I've really been enjoying Power World. I don't mind the rough edges, it's easy to see the addictive nature of the game and why people could sink hours into it. Even with its bugs, clunky AI and unoriginal moments, the game has a certain charm that keeps me coming back. It's fun, quirky and has a lot of potential, especially as it evolves out of the early access. And being at uh, almost 30 euros, Power World feels like one of the mo best gaming investments you can make right now. Especially when you look at the state of the, some of the AAA games. It offers plenty of content and the roadmap suggests that there's perhaps even more to come. With plans for PvP, group raids and crossplay with including Xbox and PC, I'm excited to see how it grows and improves as it moves towards a full release. If you're looking for a game that is an enjoyable time sink and plenty of exploration and minimum to maxing out opportunities, Power World is definitely worth checking out. It's not perfect, but for an indie game, it's ambitious, full of fun surprises, and genuinely hard to put down. With some polishing, it could easily become some of my favorite video games. But other than that, I genuinely had a good time with it. And of course, guys, like I mentioned, this is just my first impressions, so my final review may change in terms of my opinion. But nevertheless, I don't feel like anything is really going to change since I already put in about 20 hours in this game. So I still have not finished it, you know, completely at least. And so that's why I'm stating it that this is my first impressions. Do give me some extra days, then of course I will make a full proper review for Pal World on PlayStation 5. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. I see you guys all and have a wonderful day.